Oh, so, you're ready. Yes, as challenged by Netflix, I have done my hair just like yours. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So start with you, Jennifer. Um, for our listeners here in the UK, can you tell us what a Yes Day is for people who might be wanting to do it for the very first time? Yes Day does not have to be something big and fancy. Yes Day is just a day where you focus totally on your kids and you just let them guide the day. And you say yes to little rules that that you don't even think about. But for my kids, when they were really little, it was about sitting in the front seat of the car and playing with the knobs and sticking their head out of the sunroof and having waffles and ice cream for breakfast, staying up late at night. Um, If we were gonna play somewhere that I would play tag or hide and seek as long as they wanted and I didn't say, okay guys, last one, I would just keep going until they were truly done. That's really what the day is about. Amazing. And Edgar, you've done Yes Days as well, I hear. So what do you love about the concept of of Yes Day and the message that it sends to sort of families and co-workers, friends? Yeah, I love, I mean, you're just saying it. I love that you that you that you extend it to co-workers and to friends and also love relationships. I think that 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 we all should have, you know, in any meaningful relationship that we have in our life, we should have a yes day. We should give each other and give others a yes day. It's a great way to restore whatever imbalance there is in those relationships. And um and 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 it's all about, and we've said this before, it's all about time and focus. That's what a yes day is about. It's about you know, undivided attention and focus to the people that you love, which is a, a, a beautiful and, 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 and an extremely valuable gift that you can give to the people that you care most. So um, I love the concept. I, I love that Jennifer had the idea to turn her own life experience with her family into this movie that hopefully will become, will become a world, you know, um, holiday. You know, I really want, because in, in my family, it's already a holiday. I mean, we're going to have yes days, you know, for as long as we live. And, and I'm also applying to other relationships. It's great. I think it's great to, to, to say yes, you know, um, uh, unconditionally for one day. And, 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 I, and I really hope and we hope that when people see this movie, when they watch this movie, they can also be hopeful that, that regardless of how hard this, these last months have been, you know, and, and, and that we've been, you know, uh, uh, you know, prevented from seeing, from hugging, from kissing the people that we love. I mean, in my case, I haven't seen my family for so long. All I want is to be with them and the people that I love in the same room, in the same physical space and hug them and kiss them and never let them go. So I hope that people would get inspired that when all, with, with, with all this, you know, this pandemic is over, so we'll be together again to celebrate life and love. Absolutely. And Jennifer, as a seasoned yes there, what kind of advice or ideas or inspiration would you give to people, uh, both from a kid's perspective and adult perspective, and perhaps any rules? Definitely rules. You can't do anything that would last beyond yes day. You can't pierce your ears. You can't get a dog. You can't. Um, I definitely, it's not about spending money. Um, although usually, you know, you do something fun in the middle of the day. As parents, I would say, Plan something that your kids would love as an anchor, either out in the world or at home. And then otherwise, um, you know, just go for it and let them lead it. And as kids, just think, read the book by Amy Krause Rosenthal to give you ideas for what sounds fun to you. There will probably be a picnic in the day. There will probably be something that you wouldn't expect. But for my kids, I know their favorite part of the day is always flashlight tag late at night making s'mores in our backyard and then sleeping in a tent you know all night long all jumbled up together and it's lovely and finally for both of you um I love that you both get to sing in the film and I was wondering if that's a yes day when you see that in the script for each of you or a no day and how much fun is that to film you want it all, all that you can, you can yeah. have it. I love to sing, and so does Jennifer. I mean, we sang a lot, you know, during during you know during breaks, and she's she's got such a beautiful voice. I mean, you just I mean you you heard it, you saw it in the film. Um, that was that that was great. I mean, it was great. To, it was great to sing to sing Gummy Bear. You know, uh, in the in the film, and also one of my favorite of uh, all time rock songs. Um, but yeah, that's that's a yes for me. That's a yes for you too, I guess, Jen. 
I was so nervous and terrified singing in front of that huge crowd. That is a, that's yeah. a big fat no for me. I'll sing with Edgar all day, every day, forever and ever. But that was the no, but I put it in there. So that's you what you get. <laughs> that's what you get. How many, how many people film. were there? It was Hundreds. A, yeah, it was, it was a full on concert. Full, it was a full concert. You should have seen me the first take. I could hardly get anything out. It was awful. <laughs> amazing jennifer garner edgar ramirez thank you so much absolutely thank loved you. it thank you for so much thank fun. thanks Haley. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you